Hey guys, welcome to devlog number five. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about what I use to keep track of my progress, keep me motivated, and a way for Cohen to pick and prioritize what I'm going to work on next in Spookville Cabin Escape. All this requires is truly just a few post-it notes, a pen or pencil to write notes down, and then some kind of backdrop like a whiteboard, which is what I use that we can separate the stick it notes based on the status of what we're going to write down. So first things first, a blank whiteboard. I'm going to make three columns. To do, in progress, and finally, a done column. These are the three states that our stories or our post-it notes can be in. Now Chad, you said something about stories, what does that mean? So a post-it note can represent a piece of functionality or a feature that we're going to implement in our game. So let's start with something simple, such as turn on crosshair on aim. Writing out enough information that you can keep track of and remember what you were thinking of at the time of writing it down will help you prioritize and organize your thought long term over the course of your development. This workflow is sometimes called Kanban, and it's part of an agile methodology of providing working software over comprehensive documentation, rapid workflow, and making sure that things continually move. And one caveat is that sometimes you might run into something what's called a blocker or an impediment that prohibits you from progressing working on a story. Maybe that's a bug that you just can't figure out, or a technical limitation, or a dependency on a third-party library or framework or person. In that case, leave that story in progress, put a little star, asterisk, or something on that post-it note to know denote that it's been blocked, and then continue to work on the next story in your list. So I know this is just the example, but let's take it a look at my note, turn on crosshair on aim, in to do. What I'm gonna do is when I'm ready to start working on that, I'm literally going to pull it out and stick it in the in progress. Then I'm going to go back to Unity and then I'm going to begin working on that. I might create a new branch from my main branch, name it something specific that I can tie it back to that post-it note and begin implementing the functionality. These small wins will keep you motivated because it'll give you a sense of satisfaction that you actually got something done. And that's what you need. A lot of YouTubers in the game development niche say, hey, you should start small, you know, reinvent Pong or something for your first project. But if you want to dive right in and really work on your dream project, this is what you got to do. And there's plenty of resources online for different types of tracking progress on stories and stuff. I like this physical, hands-on, really moving the post-it note from lane to lane. Sometimes after a week or two, I count up how many stories I've actually got marked done and if it's been a good week or two, we'll go out and celebrate and have ice cream for dinner or something. It's important to celebrate those small wins, no matter how big or small, and writing them down and actually putting the pressure on yourself to develop and implement those functionalities and see them through the completion is how you are going to get your big project complete. 